Good afternoon guys. It is the day after I stopped my last vlog so we're continuing with the vlogs. I'm very happy about it because that means I'm better <laughs> if we continue with the vlogs. I am boiling and I'm just about to go meet Georgia but I think it's gonna chuck it down so I do not know what to wear. Do I, I play it safe and be hot and then be okay when it rains or do I be cool and then worry about it raining later? I don't know. <laughs> this is why English people talk about the weather, but I think I'm gonna go for the shorts option I've got shorts got black belt on this little cute top from H&M my Sif Jacobs jewelry Which I'm loving absolutely loving at the moment rotary watch Bookly look everything linked to all jewelry will be linked in the description below. Can't talk description box below and I've got these cute little earrings in as well kind of like them Um Zara hat I'm really into the hats I'm gonna actually go to Westfield to buy a load of more hats at the moment <laughs> I just thought I'd check in and say let's go do some retail therapy and go for a pedicure as well It's all go 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 and also I'm flat hunting this week So hopefully we can go see some flats because I am so dying to move like I cannot express to you how much I want to move I'm gonna get my nails done at some point as well because look at this this little one The middle one is very very sad about it, but I'm liking the color. These are my natural nails I don't think they've ever been this long in my whole entire life. My eyelashes are really long as well I have to mention this mascara. Oh my gosh, Marc Jacobs new mascara. I saw a load of bloggers do it on Instagram, and I was like, nah, that can't be right. That can't, it can't be as good as it's looking. It's as good as it looks. Like it just makes your eyes look so good. Right, <sighs> let's go. So we're just at Westfields. I have this one with me. <laughs> have you missed me? Always. Oh, oh, that was such a good hard time, wasn't it? Since. I know we've seen each other. You were on the last vlog, I think. Oh. At your party? Yeah, but that was ages ago. Yeah, that was ages ago. <laughs> Feels like yesterday for me. <laughs> but we've just come to Bill's. We have, let's show them food of the day. We have chicken skewers, pretend vegetarian. We've got halloumi fries and her, no, sweet potato fries. And we've got the same matching. But it's just started to thunderstorm and I absolutely love it when it thunderstorms. Then I'm going to go for a shot. What are you doing later? Mm. Oh, good. Really good. Good afternoon. So today I actually plan to shoot, but the good old British weather is not playing ball. It said I woke up this morning and it said thunder clouds all day. There's not been one thunderstorm. It's actually been pretty sunny. Um, so I'm going to attempt to shoot sneak peek behind. But I guarantee the moment I step outside, just you watch, there'll be a thunderstorm. Just you watch. But thought I'd show you some new pieces of jewellery, really into my jewellery at the moment. This bangle bracelet, the big one, is from Mango, Mango. And this is another little sneak peek of a collaboration that I'm doing. Gorgeous jewellery and I've got the crisscross earrings in again. But um, my hair is definitely a lot blonder. I've washed it, it seems to go lighter when you wash it a couple of times or it settles into the colour. But really happy with it, like I don't think I'll ever go blonder than this but um, I just like it, especially I like it more when it grows out a little bit more. So yeah, I'm going to meet up with Abby, I'm going to see her new place, so I'll tune in, tune in, <laughs> when I uh, get there. Hi guys, we are just, we, me and Abby, hello, <laughs> we've just come to Caravan in King's Cross for a good old pizza, I've got, I've got tea, can I grab some ketchup and mayo, thank you, <laughs> and Abby is on the Prosecco. <laughs> Some onto my You've just moved into your new flat, haven't you? Yes. How are you finding it? I love it. It's very nice. It's just give me a grand tour. It's got a gym, it's got a roof terrace. I said if lockdown's happening again, I'm gonna move in. <laughs> but I'm just uh, teaching Abby how to do an Instagram story. <laughs> She's upping her Instagram game. So if you guys want to follow her, I'll leave it linked down below. It's, is it Abby Blears? Not Abby Dabby Doodle. Abby Blears. Abby Blears. And we're going to be brainstorming the podcast. So if you guys um, want to listen to the podcast, I'll leave that link down below too. a little bit about my skin so I'm in my guys this robe is honestly one of the best things I've ever got I have lived in it if anyone asks me what my favorite thing in my wardrobe is it will probably be this robe um I'll link it down below it's from 100 stars but 
I'm sat here because I am about to talk about my skin. I've been feeling really rough lately, as you guys know. It's been an up and down process. And I just feel like, I feel like 100 years old. So I really wanna work on getting some good skin regimes going. And over the years, I've explained how I have such sensitive skin when it comes to products. There must be something in actual products that makes my skin really, really aggravated. Um, a lot of products beauty products break me out so when it comes to like exfoliation and just things i've become a, such a lover of the technology that has come onto the beauty market and so many amazing beauty tech things have I've now become available at home which is amazing so you don't have to go to a salon to use it so i'm going to share with you today something called the touch beauty ultrasonic exfoliating scrubbing device and i am not i can't really use exfoliator as in like a product exfoliator so using a technology like this instead really helps save my skin from those breakouts that those products uses and i just think they work so much better so let me explain a little bit about this tool so this is the device it comes in an amazing stand it really looks really beautiful maybe i'll do like a overview here and you can charge it and the charging life lasts for ages so you could it even comes with a travel bag so you can carry it with you but if i take the little protector off this is the device so it has two sides to it this one is what we're going to use to exfoliate then after this is what we're going to use to massage the product my moisturizer into the skin so um you need to have a wet face so usually i do this in the shower so i'm gonna go get a water spray so i can show you how it works i'm back so i'm just gonna pop on the la roche posay water spray this is what i use when it's boiling hot in england those days and you turn it on so it has this little device you just it's so it's such a beautiful design and you just turn it on so i used to like squeeze blackheads and then i'd have a scar for like months at a time i've learned to really not touch um, blackheads or anything like this so a device like this is really good so let me try it so let me spray and um, you need a freshly cleansed face when you do it so let's spray and we can see um all the grime that's on my face up but there is so much grime on that let me show you so there you can see all the grime that's just been removed from my face all the blackheads and stuff that's insane it uses high frequency vibrations to force clog sebum and debris out of the pores clearing out all blackheads which you can definitely see <laughs> on this that's so gross deep cleansers and exfoliators the skin removing dirt excess oils pollution particles and dead skin cells it also comes with a little cloth so you can just quite easily clean it off and use it again the next time always make sure your skin is wet before you move So gross it's like a really dirty color <laughs> just shows you your face isn't that clean even when it's clean so this is the part I love so if we give this out this a little clean and use the other side so the flat side it stimulates collagen the vibration stimulate collagen helps the production of cells and just gives your skin an overall more youthful glowing look which I'm all about these days and tightens the skin I actually went for a face sculpting massage the other day where they really like sculpt like massage the face and afterwards my skin just looks so much younger that I was like something like this to really energize your skin makes such the difference brings the blood to the surface and it also helps um, make your moisturizer that you use soak in so i'm using this codage mask hydrogent i think i've spoken about it before i love this it's a beautiful it's actually a mask but i use it as an overnight moisturizer um so i'm just gonna pop my moisturizer on and then we're gonna massage it in with the device because I've got half half my face is red but I really noticed the difference I think if you look at my skin at the start of my YouTube channel now oh my gosh my skin is so much better I think lots of you say I look younger as well so just all these kind of 
things that I've been trying have really helped my skin and for those of you that have sensitive skin I find the using tech rather than actual products really helps it because there's something in the beauty products that really aggravate my skin but using a, like a tech product like the touch beauty ultrasonic exfoliating scrubbing device i get such an amazing result without breaking out or having a reaction um and it, my skin just feels so much cleaner i think uh, i never have used a toner because it just breaks me out so this is so much better than a toner for me because it just removes all the excess dirt without having um, the chemicals on my skin. So if you're interested in this, I'll leave it in the description box below. I also have a discount code to get money off your first purchase. And yeah, I just, I've really loved using these tech things. They've really helped enhance my skin game. And I definitely have needed it over the past few months because boy, it's been a long ride um, recovering from Corona, but yeah. Let's get on with the rest of the video. Good morning, you lovely lot. I'm just out of breath because I just ran down the stairs with two big boxes. God, I, since Corona, I am so unfair. Anyway, today is a rather different day. I have a big shoot day. I have makeup on. I haven't done my lips fully because, you know, mask life. I don't want to do them fully until I get to the other end. But I've done my hair. It's kind of a princess day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna call it. Um, I'll explain a little bit more about what I'm doing when I get there. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun shoot day. Big epic shoot day. So I've got some beautiful dresses, as I said, princess, princess day. But um, yeah. By the way, I wanted to tell you about my eyelashes. So I've been using one of those lash serums. They've grown so bloody long. <laughs> so long, but yeah, let's go. Hi everybody. <laughs> I'm really excited because these are in the background. Look how beautiful. So this is today's agenda. I get to wear all these beautiful dresses, but how pretty is this location? Um, it smells like a lot, but look how insanely beautiful these dresses are. So yeah, this is gonna be today's job. <laughs> I like to keep the kettles on, so that's the, that's the noise. I like to keep things real in this vlog. <coughs> um, just wanted to show you the reality of um, how I've been feeling lately post Corona. Um, I'm coming up six months, five to six months on, and I am currently experiencing what is going to be a relapse. I think so. I've had a stomach ache for the past two days really bad stomach which is always the start of the relapse for me it was the start of how i got corona it's the same same process and then i've had really bad lungs for the past two days really really bad lungs last night and yeah i've been on the couch most of today so this is a bit of my reality i just wanted to share with you because it's so disheartening i was feeling so much better i'm so sad about it but it seems to be on a monthly basis that I get these bad relapses. So I'm hoping it doesn't get bad and it just stays how it is. Because at the moment I'm okay, I'm well enough to sit at my computer. But um, it just really sucks. It really, really sucks. Hi guys. So today I wanted to share with you. So 
I did a big huge order from Sheen. I saw they had like this premium collection. So I was like, oh, you guys know if you've been here for a while. I was such a lover of Sheen back in the day, like when I first started this channel. And this summer I was like, wanted to try, go back to my roots a little bit to see how I felt about the fashion and stuff. Cause I think I've matured with my fashion sense over this time, but I just wanted to dip my toe back into the past and see how I felt. So I thought I'd give you a really honest opinion of some of the stuff that I got from Sheen. Some of it's just from their website. Some of it's from the premium section. These earrings are from the premium section and I really, really like them. They're like hoops. So these are, these are a winner, but, um, yeah, I didn't want to do it in like a proper whole haul because I know some of you are in, so my audience is really split. So I know some of you will still be in really, really scorching hot summer. In England, we're definitely, it's definitely gone autumnal. So I wanted to, some of this is summer stuff. I was gonna go away, try and get myself a little holiday, but you know what? I was just like, there is absolutely no point to anybody traveling right now. It's just, I just thought it was such a bad idea. So um, some of this stuff, I just wanted to show you in case you're going on holiday or in case you're in a hot country still and some of the stuff I live on such a main road I cannot wait to move to a quieter place and um, some of the stuff you can wear in autumn as well I've got loads of accessories which definitely can be worn in autumn so I just thought I'd delve in and give you my honest opinion of what I picked up so I got these kind of off the shoulder tops you might have seen in the jewelry video I did I'll link it I'll do a card here if you haven't I had it in brown but they had this gorgeous like off the shoulder top and then this kind of ties round and what I loved about this is just I thought it looked so expensive and I thought it was I'm not one for like a basic cami like you know when you want an under basic I thought these asymmetrical tops are really gorgeous for definitely layering in autumn as well but also to go with cute little shorts or whatever in the summer so I loved these I thought I would just have them forever such a good basic so most things on Shein do come in multiple colors so if you like the style or something definitely check to see if they come out in different colors so this had so many colors and i i love a bardo top especially in the warmer months probably something that i wouldn't wear as much in winter for obvious reasons but if you're still having a hot heat wave where you are or you're going on holiday these little bardo tops are gorgeous and as it gets a little bit warmer definitely on a night out to wear with like long wide leg pants would be gorgeous so this orange jumpsuit was from the premium collection and I just loved the style of it I thought it might look really really good on so we'll have a little brows here I thought it would look really really good on and I just I love jumpsuits because they're so easy you could pair this up or you could pair it down with flats if you wanted to walk around we have a pair of flip-flops on or flat shoes but you can equally pair up pop a pair of sandals on for a night out so there was a lot of this kind of burnt color like this burnt orange color in the premium collection this is another one from the premium collection this wrap skirt because it's kind of that autumnal color you could take it into autumn very very easily I'm really impressed with the fabric of this it's really gorgeous it may be like a soft it's got a very it's like a touch of suede but I've always loved the wraparound skirts I think they're really really flattering and you could pair it with boots and you could really autumn it up autumn it up <laughs> so this one looked really really gorgeous on the model and when it came I'm I'm not too I'm gonna say I'm not too sure on the fabric it's kind of like a really stiff um like rucksack fabric rucksack is that a word like it's really really stiff fabric let me see if i can do you like a like it's weird it's a weird fabric i'm not enjoying the fabric on that i'm not gonna lie but i can understand i can understand why they've done the fabric because it makes the sleeves puff up a little bit more but um, i'm not too sure on this but it does have a stunning silhouette so it's one of those ones i think that fabric just really goes through me so you you guys might be okay with it <laughs> So I'd seen this little cute top on Instagram a lot. So when I saw it, I just loved it. I think it's one of those ones if you are on a beach with a wraparound skirt, it just looks so, so stunning or with wide leg pants for like an evening meal or something like that. Probably the wrong, definitely the wrong time if you're going into England. But as I said, I think a lot of you are still, like when you come to Denmark, like, I asked you guys what the temperature it was in some of the countries and you were like, it's like 40 degrees. I was like, okay, these, this, this haul is for you. 
Um, so I thought that was a cute one. It came in different colors too. So this was such a gorgeous little top and I was like, I didn't have any of these cute tops that I'd wear on like date night in my, not that I've gone any dates anytime soon. But if I did have a date, I just wanted like a, a cute little top like that wasn't too try hard, was really flattering. I think this cut is really, really flattering. And just cause it's white and it's got this embroidery on, I just thought it was a little bit timeless. So it's never gonna go in and out of fashion. I feel comfortable in it it's flat like it was just ticking a load of boxes for me and I thought it would look really really pretty with a simple pair of like um baggy like not baggy jeans but you know like a mum fit jeans so you could create that really laid back but still really elegant kind of look so this skirt I got black into I wore it in the video there's a lot of sheen stuff in that video so it's the jewelry one so definitely go check that out or on Instagram it's all over my Instagram um I got the black version of this as well but I love these skirts I also have the white version of it which is why I knew I loved them I think this they're so good for summer they just look really effortless I think when you put I'm not I'm not a fan of like a straight skirt I just love the wraparound effect of it I think it's a really more casual kind of look um, more designer kind of s kind of look it's I don't know it's just really good on the eye so I picked it up in a pink and um, thought it was lovely you could wear it with a blouse maybe like a shirt vibe for an evening out for, out for that kind of more not grunge look but that kind of more boyfriend kind of look what is the look I'm thinking of do you know what I mean? That very Instagram boyish with the chain. Um, or you could wear it with a cute little bodo for a more feminine kind of look. So this was another one of those little cute date night. I don't know why I'm picking date night outfits. It's not like I'm going on any dates anytime soon. God, I haven't even had the energy to go to the shop to get a cup of tea, like on some milk. Never mind, go on a date. I, don't, I honestly don't think I could handle men right now. I think it pushed me over the edge. I've been so ill. But this would be great for my imaginary date. <laughs> it's one of those cute little date night tops that you know is flattering. It's not too try hard. It's very feminine, very girly, and it's really pretty. And I, I just thought that would work really nicely. So this is an oversized blazer from the premium section. It comes with a belt and the girl styled it with these over the knee boots and thought she looked fantastic. But I don't know whether I personally can pull off this kind of oversized style because I think it, I'm on the fence. It either looks like it's swallowing me up like it's too big for my frame to do the oversizedness this much but I liked the idea of it so we're gonna try it on and see how I feel so let me know here because I'll be trying it on here whether you like it or you don't like it I'm undecided so this is my favorite bit I've got so many accessories from Sheen Sheen is one of the places where you can get the most epic bags scarves jewelry sunglasses um, I almost think it's worth it every so often doing a big like accessories haul on Sheen because you can get some such good stuff and it's so much more affordable than the high street and sometimes it's the same like I see Zara and H&M stuff on there I don't know if it's using the same factories or they're just like I don't know what the situation is there but they're definitely the same um so I'm gonna show you some of the cute little accessories that I picked out the most epic dupe of the Jacquemus is that how I pronounce it? I have no idea. Ja you know the Jacques, Jacques, <laughs> I don't know. Jacques, ja you know the designer. These are the cutest little Jacquemus dupes. How cute are these? And um, on the site, she kind of wore both of them at the same time. So I kind of like that, like across her body. So I picked them up. I do not know what these are useful for. They're about as useful to just put your credit card and keys in, which is sometimes all I take out to be fair. I'm going to sneeze. One second. So talking about dupes, they had this kind of, is it Balenciaga dupe? And I thought this would be a lot more rigid than it is. So you definitely need stuff in it for it to look cool. I'm undecided. Is it cool? Is it not? Is it a vibe? I don't know. This is the type of thing. So you guys know I've really invested in a designer handbag wardrobe this year. Um, they're all secondhand. I rarely buy a new handbag first hand because... Um, there's so much better value for money when you buy them off the... Sh Let me explain this a little bit better. So, I could sell pretty much any of these at the same price I bought them. But if I brought it new, I'd probably get less for it. So, if you can find really new second-hand designer handbags, you can always s you sell it 
um, pretty much at the value you bought it so it's never a waste of money so you can actually sell them on if that makes sense so that is why one of the reasons that I buy pre-loved I'm also such a fan of pre-loved especially as we get more and more aware of sustainability and stuff so I never shy away from it um, but this is the type of thing that I would never buy designer because I just think or is it Bottega Veneta? It's not Balenciaga at all, is it? Bottega. <laughs> the Bottega Veneta bags, the pouch bags, are something that I would never buy designer because it is such a trend bag. And I think in a couple of years' time, it will be such a gone trend. Whereas I always buy very, very classic bags that don't go out of fashion, like the... I don't know, you've seen my handbags. So this is something I definitely would buy a dupe of. So if you're looking for a dupe too of it, where you want to try the trend, but you don't want to buy into the trend, then this is from Sheen is definitely something. Look look at their dupes, they have some good ones. So let's talk scarves. I am such a huge fan of a satin pocket scarf. And I've always been a fan of these, but I've kind of, got the, the fanness of them has got more intense. Fanness, why do I always make up words? <laughs> So these are great. I tie them on my handbags, around my neck, around my hair. I've recently been wearing them with blazers. I'll pop a picture here, you've probably seen it. This is my new thing where I put it around my neck. I think they just make your outfit look so good. I think the handbag trick is so good. It takes your fashion game up so many levels. So obviously I've got a few just to try, but Sheen honestly had millions so if you're looking for a very specific color or style go have a browse got this kind of plain kind of gray one it's like a champagne color got this chain one i thought it looked very like versace vibes or is it hermes vibes but um the chain ones i'm a huge fan of talking about chain ones let me show you another scarf and then we'll continue um got something to show you so this is like a geometric print one very plain i just got lots of different kind of ones because i thought you know different occasions this was from the premium collection because they had this kind of burn orange kind of color theme they the woman had this in her hair but again i thought this would look nice with a, like a white blazer or something around the neck you could tie it in a knot i'm gonna do a scarf video maybe should we do a scarf and belt video i think that's on the card because i get really into it don't i so the versace chain kind of print vibe so i saw these i'm not gonna hopefully i'll show you here because i've got lipstick on but this is um a face mask but then you tie the scarf around your neck and I thought this was a really glamorous way to do a face mask I loved that and they had again so many different styles it's been a little bit too hot to wear this in the summer but I think definitely going into winter this is gorgeous I might get some plain ones as well because I think I'm gonna up my my face mask game instead of that blue one <laughs> so yeah I thought you'd enjoy that so this one was an epic fail an absolutely epic fail so i saw this this is a dupe of the gucci hat you know the one with the bumblebee on it um but look at it it looks awful so sheen for me is always hit or miss and i think it's really good if you shop on sheen to to watch youtube because we show you the products so you'll know which is hit and which is miss because sometimes pictures are a bit deceiving so that's what we're here for so you can see what it actually looks like for me i don't know if maybe i get the eye into it or maybe i try and steam this out because it came literally it came like this in the box and then it's just not i got me mum one as well so i've got two <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it's what I was looking for like it's really not like the the Gucci one at all because the Gucci one's got a really flat hard rim so that was an epic fail for me but I don't know you guys might like it so I thought I'd show you talking about uh, the bumblebee the Gucci oh this is broken that just shows you how good she is doesn't it the bumblebees broke got dead bumblebee going on <laughs> So I picked up this belt, but that can go bad because that is definitely broken. But they had a load of these bumblebees. And even though the bumblebee is different um, to Gucci, I liked the idea of it. Where's my bum? I've got another bumblebee one. Oh, here it is. So the bumblebee is a different bumblebee, um, but it is a bumblebee still. So I liked this to go over stuff. I thought it had that kind of Gucci vibe. Is it Gucci? It's got to be Gucci, right? I do get it wrong sometimes. But yeah, I got this little Gucci belt. I thought that was cute. They had a lot of these kind of bumblebee things. So if you want a bumblebee belt, she and your place. Um, I stocked up on my belts. I got a few, because you know, love a belt. I have so many, but you know, when I see one on one, I just, I keep picking them up. This is like a very understated one. So I thought when I have things that haven't got a belt to match, this would be a good one. 
Um, what else have I got? Oh, sunglasses. I told you, Sheena's a very good place for sunglasses. You might have seen these in a video recently. Oh, I've broken them. That's wonky. Oh, I've broken them. Bloody hell. I think it's fixable because I've probably stood on them or something. But I loved the chain detailing. I don't know if you can see at the side. I thought that was really cool. They have so many epic sunglasses. This is full enough. I need to fix that. Gosh, what have I done there? <laughs> I've done that because I've definitely worn them. I need to just put that back in. Okay, we can figure that out a later day. But I like these. Imagine them not wonky. <laughs> <laughs> you add another pair. <laughs> so these are from the premium collection and I really liked them. It's funny, I was with um, Georgia in the park the other week and I was like, I've got Dior sunglasses, Versace, Chloe. I was like, these are from Sheen. <laughs> I was like, I just love the I just love the shape of the Sheen sunglasses. Um, I just think they're really nice. They don't look uh, like cheap at all either. So I picked a few brown pairs up because they seem to be loving brown. So let's talk about the jewellery and it's really hit or miss when you shop jewellery from these kind of brands because you never know how it turns out but these look really expensive. These are from the premium collection and also these are too. I thought these were gorgeous, like a very understated because it's like, um, I don't know if you can see, it's like a not a shiny gold, it's like a muted gold. Um, I keep you guys know, I love an earring. I love a big earring. <laughs> um, I also picked up a chain necklace, but again, it's so hit or miss because sometimes they look really cheap. So let's have a little browse. So this was kind of um, like a layered one. I'll try and put it on here so you can see, but I love this kind of beautiful chain detailing. I love this in the summer, especially with bikinis and stuff. I thought it really, that actually doesn't look that cheap. I like that, that's a cute one. Um, but hopefully I'll put it on here so you can see. We also have a big chunky chain necklace because it's all the kind of vibe at the moment. So these are two that came in, in one so you can either wear them both. So these are absolutely fine. So when you want like a trend piece of jewellery, I think places like this are really, really great to still wear. So this is like, you need to kind of sort the chain now. It's all twisted, but I'm sure... Do you know what? I'm just going to put it on here so you can see <laughs> see what I did earlier. So that's the kind of like chain. So if you wanted that chunky chain effect, it's not too thick. And then this goes with it, which is like a twist one. But you need to, I need to, needs to sit properly. So two different types of chains in one. So you can get really good um, jewelry pieces. So yeah, that is everything. There is some more stuff that I've got from Sheen, but they're coming up in different hauls. Um, but this is some stuff that I. I thought might have been a bit I don't know not I'm gonna concentrate on like more transitional pieces in my upcoming calls and this was kind of still summer so I thought it would be good for those of you still in summer so yeah this is my little section of the vlog for Sheen and yeah I hope you liked it everything will be linked in the description box below I actually think I might finish this vlog here and start another one um yeah, because I've been really hit and miss with vlogs at the moment because I've just been, honestly guys, I've been so ill. I'm going to catch you up on it all soon, but um, I'm also house hunting in the middle of it all. So I'm praying to God the moment that I move, I don't get ill again because I don't know if you, you guys have been reading the news and stuff, but the people who got corona badly are really suffering afterwards. It's, it's we're called log, COVID long haulers, but it's literally not even a joke. It's been horrific, like how up and down. It's been like one minute, like today, I'm so fine. But the past two days I've been in bed, which you guys would not have seen. I haven't been able to get off the couch, not even to go to the shop to get my own food. It's been awful. So yeah, anyway, I hope you're good and I will probably catch up with you very soon for another video. We're definitely, the house hunting is coming up guys because honestly, I need to get a move on. We need to find the perfect flat. I'm staying in London and um, we're just gonna get somewhere bigger because this, I need to get out of this flat. <laughs> I need a glam room. So yeah, I love you lots and I'll see you soon.